What's up? Guess who's back? Back again. Arena Afia back again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna share lessons that I have learned that changed my life tremendously, okay? So I hope you guys grab your drink. I grabbed mine, cause this is gonna be interesting. A little ASMR for the drink. Delicious. Don't ask me what's in the cup. <laughs> Don't ask me. Lesson number one is clarity is power. Growing up, I wanted to do so many things. I still do, and I am actually. At the time, none of those things were clear. And when you don't have clarity, you don't have a sense of direction. You become confused. You don't know how to even start. Once I actually sat down with myself and said, Serena, what do you truly want? It all became clear. I started to be more intentional with my goals. Everything just started to fall into place. Trust and believe, clarity is power. So all the things that I want in life, I can get, you can get it because you have direction. So when you get clear about your goals, the energy around you shifts. Manifestation, honey. <laughs> okay. Lesson two, self-love is a non-negotiable. Hey, anybody that knows me knows I'm all about self-love, honey. Self-love is very, 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 very important. I can't stress this enough. When people say, can you define what love is? Love is self-love. Love is how you treat yourself. How you treat yourself, people see it and they start to treat you how you treat yourself. You are here, honey. Take yourself out to solo dates, read a book, talk to God, talk to Allah, get your nails done, take baths, get a sauna, get a massage, being healthy, you know, take care of your hair, take care of your skin, take care of your body, take care of your heart, take care of your mental. That is self-love, taking care of yourself. There's so much into it. Saying no when you're supposed to. Can't show up, you can't show up. Stop trying to pour into other people's cups and your cup is empty. I had this point in my life where I, I was just that go-to person. You know, Serena's so reliable. You know, we can count on her. I'm still there, I'm, that, I'm still that same Serena that same person that you could count on, that person that like, if you need anything, I'm there, I got you. If you want a conversation, I got you. But I started to set boundaries. I'm not gonna keep pouring into you while my cup is empty. I need to recharge. I need to put me first. I remember I had this conversation with this lady and this lady, she was talking to me. It was her and her cousin. They had a business, something happened and they wanted to split the funds. And the lady said to me, I'm struggling mentally because I was always there helping other people and I couldn't even help myself. Now, I feel like it's too late. And she said, my advice to you is to put yourself first before you let yourself go. She said to me it was a valuable lesson. Of course, I gave her some uplifting words and I said to her, you're strong, you can get out of this rut, this feeling that you're feeling, you can make it out of it. Just watch. As long as you're pouring back into yourself, that's all that really matters. And she looked at me, she said, you're right. Every time I feel like I'm doing a little bit too much, I think of that conversation I had with the lady, I can't remember her name, but I remember that conversation. You can pour into people's cup, but make sure you set boundaries, don't overpour because you're left with nothing. Cheers to that, because self-love is a non-negotiable. Cheers. Yum. The next one is taking risk is necessary for growth. Taking risk, let's talk about it. You know, I grew up with parents that says no room for error. They're right. There's no room for error. We can't make mistakes, you know, because people at my age right now, they have kids. That's some churn, you know, not saying there's nothing wrong with having kids. But in this point of my life, there's no room for error. However, there's nothing wrong with taking risks. You know what may happen once you take a risk? When I say take risks. I don't mean doing anything crazy or rational. Take a risk when it comes to your career take a risk when it comes to what you want to do in life you know, stop playing things safe nothing's wrong with playing it safe but take a risk at times 
You never know where you'll end up in life. So don't get comfortable unless you're satisfied. I'm never satisfied, so I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep moving. Nothing's gonna get in my way. You can't be comfortable. You, got, you just gotta keep going, keep growing, and taking those risks. Lesson four, your circle shapes you. Let's talk about it. Your circle does shape you. you wanna be where you wanna be in life, you have to surround yourself with people you wanna be like, or people that are evolving and moving and elevating. You know, your circle does shape you. It does have some sort of truth to it. You need to be around people that are like, you got an idea and it's a brilliant idea and then that person has hope, they have belief, and they're like, you know what, that may work, try it out. You can't be around people that are just stuck in one place, stagnant, that don't have hope, that don't have belief, that aren't moving or elevating. They're just, they're just happy where they are. You know, your circle shapes you. If you're around a certain type of group, you're gonna eventually become them. If you wanna be successful in life, Make better choices with your circle. Keep them small. Your circle could either lift you up or bring you down. Last but not least is patience and consistency pay off. The thing about me is I'm a very, very anxious person. In this time period, I'm a lot more patient and I'm enjoying the journey. Patience is key and consistency. Those were the five lessons that changed my life. I hope that you were able to take a few of these and apply it to yours. Well, life is what you make it. Life is not complicated. It is simple and easy. It's how you go about it. Hope you guys like this video. I hope it was very informative. I'll see you guys next time. And this time, make sure you guys bring your drinks because the next conversation we have is gonna be very juicy.